Yo, it's your boy Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with a brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10. And in this video, I'll be taking you through some of the camera features and also the camera settings. So I'm just gonna launch the camera here. So this is the camera layout. And here at the top, we have Bixby Vision option. Okay, so here you can have a play with some of these really cool applications. My favorite one is styling. So when you select styling, here you can add some glasses to your face. And if you scroll along, these are all the different glasses that you can have a little play around with. Also, you can change the color of the glasses by selecting these little options up here at the top. So yeah, like I said, that's one of my favorite um, applications there. Okay, so here we have the settings. And these are all the different camera settings, so I'm just going to go through them all with you. So this is Scene Optimizer. Use Bixby to automatically optimize your shots for the scene. Shot suggestions. Get on-screen guidelines to help you line up great shots. Scan QR codes. Motion photos. Record a short clip of what happens before each picture. Hold shutter button to take burst shot. Okay, so when you select that, you can take a picture, take burst shot, or create a GIF. Save options. And here we have the rear video size. So if you select it, we have the rear video size ratio, 16 by nine. Resolution, these are all the different resolutions. Ultra HD at 60 frames per second. Ultra HD, full HD at 60 frames per second. Full HD, HD at 720p. And the front facing video size, which is the front facing camera, we also have a uh, screen ratio there, 16 by nine, resolution once again, ultra HD, full HD, and HD at 720p. Advanced recording options, choose whether to record in HDR quality, compress your videos and match the mic, zoom in to the camera zoom. So these are all the advanced recording options. HDR rich tone, taking, I mean, tracking autofocus, pictures as previewed, safe selfies as they appear in the preview without flipping them, grid lines, you can turn them on. And these are the grid line settings, three by three or square. Location tags, so when you take a picture, you can tag your location. Camera modes. and shooting methods. Okay, so shooting methods, press the volume key to take picture or record video, voice control, floating shutter button, show palm, show your palm to the camera to take a selfie. So let's try show palm to take a selfie. So let's just turn on this selfie camera and I'm just gonna show my palm there. And as you can see, it's taking a selfie. Okay, so let's just have a look at some more of the settings here. So next to the camera settings, we have a flash option. So here you can turn flash off, set it to auto, or turn it on. And okay, here we have super steady. So you can take steady shots. So you can turn it on or off the screen ratio so nine nine by sixteen one by one or full wide screen and next to that we have the filters so these are all the different filters and if you scroll right along to the end you can download more filters Okay, so here we have AR Doodle. Okay, so I've showed you the filters already. Okay, so we have AR Emoji here at the top right hand corner. So here you can create an emoji.
I've already done a video um, showing you how to create your own emoji. I'm not really going to go through that right now because it does take a few minutes to do. So if you want to see my video on how to create an AR emoji and how to set it all up and everything and how it works, I will link my video in the description down below. Just click on the link and you can watch my video. But that's also a really cool feature. Okay, so down here in the bottom left, we have the food option. So if you are taking pictures of food, this is the option to select. Also, we have the night option. So if you're taking pictures at night, this is the option to select. And now we have panorama. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how panorama works. If you select it and then just, sorry about the phone ringing there in the background. So if you select it and just, okay, let me just select that again. Okay, so, okay, so it's not working for some reason here. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Okay, it's working now. So, okay, so if you just keep panning round, in a circle then it will take a panoramic photograph so here it is so that's panorama mode okay so next to panorama we have the pro option and here you have all these different settings so you can change the camera aperture from f2 point f1.2 to f2.4 I mean f1.5 sorry to f2.4 by selecting this option here and you should see the camera here on the back you should actually see when it's opening and closing when it's changing um, also you can change the white balance, have a little play with the auto focus. And here you can change the color tempo, the tint, the contrast, saturation, highlight and shadows. We also have live focus. So live focus, you can have a little play about with it. Photo mode, video, super slow motion. Okay, so super slow motion, you can record videos in, at 960 frames per second in 720p and slow motion and hyperlapse. Okay, another thing is with the new Note 10, we have air gestures, which works really good with uh, new S Pen, the new updated S Pen. So we have air options, S Pen air actions. Okay, so this is the new upgraded S Pen. And what you can do is you can use it to control the camera. So let's just launch the camera. Okay, so if you press the button, you can take a lot of burst shots. If you just press down and hold down on the button, you can take a lot of burst shots. Also, if you want to take a selfie, just hold down the button and swipe up and press the button. Swipe down and you can go through all the different options here. Hyperlapse, swipe across to the right, live focus video, video. So if you want to record a video, just press the button on the S Pen and it will record a video. Hello. Press the button again to stop it.
and you can just swipe across to select any of the options just press the button once again and what I like about this pen it doesn't matter what angle you use it at it still works so if you use it at the back of the phone here as you can see it still works I've turned on the front facing camera if I go down the rear um, camera is working again it switches back to the rear camera so yeah this is a really cool feature um, I really like this the new upgraded S Pen works very well on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 anyway thanks for watching this video I'm out it's your boy the Android Doctor this was just my video taking a look at some of the new features and settings on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. It's your boy.